do you remember the first time you played airsoft? Cause uh, I know I sure do. Man, I was hauling through the woods with my clear soft shotgun, my hoodie, thinking I was like literally Call of Duty himself. If you would have told me that only a couple years later, this type of firepower would be available on the market. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Well, my naive caveman mind probably wouldn't have believed you. Fast forward about 10 years and I'm falling in love with airsoft all over again. Thanks to the innovation of HPA. But this is airsoft. Everyone's got opinions. And this of course is because I have a YouTube channel. So I've been blessed with the good fortune of waking up every morning and being bombarded by your opinions no matter what. And HPA does present some issues. So don't worry, we're gonna get to those. There are a few common things that I hear. So let's just get those out of the way right now. Well, that's not very realistic. Now go play paintball. Oh, I better not burn your patch. First off, relax. One of the greatest things about Airsoft is that it's a sport with options. And the new Kraken patch, baby. We got drop two out now. Uh, link in the description down below. First link, and uh, yeah, we still got a few left. They're selling out quick. Make sure you buy them now. Okay, back to the show. I was at a field recently, and there was one player in particular that didn't play with a gun the entire day. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? He ran around with a riot shield and a plastic ax. And off the start, I was looking at this guy like he was a lunatic. But you have to realize, you can play however you want to play. Use whatever you want to use. As long as you're having fun and there's more people to shoot at, I'm happy. You got players with stock guns, professionally built guns, and then the guys who like to tinker, like me. I just can't help myself but get home after a day at the field and go, wow, that was fun, and then proceed to rip apart all my guns and see what I can fix or improve upon for the next time I get out there. It's just fun, okay? And for all the Tony Starks out there who are already in the comments saying, just build a DSG, or I can build a gun that shoots just as quick as HPA, congrats, what do you want, a medal? For me, it's the reliability, the ease of use. The only maintenance I have to do to my HPA engine is the odd drop of loot. You can buy an HPA engine, drop it in, and boom. This is because there's really only two moving parts. In an AG, you've got three gears, you got tappet plates, you got pistons, uh, springs, etc. And if one of those things fail, most likely all of your hard work is done for the day. There's more steps in a grade three math formula than there is for HPA guns. Really anybody can become an HPA tech. <laughs> also, the flexibility is insane. My brother has a Polar Star F2, and literally every time I see him, he's dropped his HPA gearbox into something completely different. If he's playing CQB for the day, he'll throw it in his SSG1 or his ARP9. If he's going outside for the day, he'll throw it in his Crytac or his Echo 1 DMR. And no, not everything works, but pretty well anything that has a V2 gearbox is pretty, pretty much gonna work. And I'm not gonna lie, yeah. It's expensive. But at this point, what part of this hobby isn't expensive? For the lack of headaches and lost sleep over not knowing why on earth your motor won't fit back into the dang pistol grip, it worked yesterday. It's also a pretty new platform, so hopefully prices will come down in the future. But that's exactly how I think of it. It's an evolving ecosystem. Yes, the price of entry is pretty steep. But once you're in it, you're in it. For example, I ran an HPA setup for about six months before I actually owned an HPA engine. And that's because I just started out with a tank, hose, and regulator. And then I swapped out all of my gas blowback or green gas guns for HPA. Primarily my shotgun and high kappa. This made both of these platforms much more effective and fun to use, in my opinion. My shotgun before this could only get through about two shells or about 10 shots before it was out of gas making it totally useless as a primary weapon unless I lug around a bottle of green gas. As for the high kappa, well, once I started having to never fill up my green gas mags with BBs and gas, plus the ability to have as many 120 round M4 mags that I decided to run that day at my disposal, yeah, I never went back. This was a great way to get into the ecosystem without dropping a ton of money all at once. If you're looking at the price tag of a tank hose regulator, a gun, plus an HPA engine, yeah, you're looking at quite a bit of money. But if you do things this way and slowly work into it, it becomes a lot easier. And of course, some people 
cannot get over the fact about running a backpack and hose. They think this is the stupidest thing ever. But just like anything else, don't knock it till you try it. And no, putting on your buddy's backpack for 30 seconds and going, yeah, this ain't it, chief. That's not giving it a fair shot. This was by far my biggest concern about running HPA or getting started with it. And at the end of my first day playing, I honestly forgot the hose was even there. And I was using an old backpack of my mom's at the time. Now I've got this BQB Atom Pack and it's a backpack that's designed specifically for HPA in mind. And it literally is just a part of me now. Even if I do decide to run an AEG for a round or switch to green gas mags or whatever, I typically just leave my bag on with my tank in it. But if you really can't get over this, there are of course always alternatives like a gas stock or a ESG grip or a Euro tactics grip. Um, these are just kind of some options. You now some of you might be looking at that going, that's even worse. Sorry, I can't, I can't fix the world for you, all right? Now let's talk about regulations. As my good old pal, Uncle Ben once told me, Kraken, with great power comes great responsibility. And let's face it, HPA is a power that can most definitely be abused. <laughs> However, this is most definitely something that can actually be fixed. It will just take time. And really any other airsoft gun can do the same kind of damage. This is my $250 gas shotgun. It shoots six rounds every time it shoots. And there's really no way to regulate those. But on the horizon, we have things like the Gorilla FCU coming out. This allows players and refs to set something like fire rate locks through a phone app, making sure that everyone is playing with an identical fair setup. Or you could even start the day playing full auto and if players are being total jerks with it, you could just delete their full auto for the day. But I think really what it comes down to is education. You guys love to roast me all the time for my trigger discipline on this channel. <laughs> and I admit, it's bad, okay? But I live in Canada and I'm not used to holding real firearms. I've really only shot a real gun twice. And the people who are saying that clearly have firearms experience and training. And unfortunately, there's players who get these $2,000 guns the first time they go out. And those are the players who abuse things because they're just not educated on anything in the airsoft world. And also I think it really just comes down to the airsoft community likes to be angry, unfortunately. Just because somebody has a 70 rounds a second gun doesn't mean they're gonna play like a jerk. And at the end of the day, we're all paying money to get shot by BBs. So stop complaining and ending up in airsoft fight compilations, guys. It doesn't look too good for the sport, all right? At the same time, I feel like all of us airsofters, speedy boys and milsimers alike, have a responsibility to make airsoft accessible and fun for all new, and returning players. It's the only way our hobby can continue. So stop playing like you never want the person on the receiving end of your BBs to come back and play again next weekend. There's a difference between playing aggressive and just being a jerk. But again, I personally love HPA and I hope it sticks around, but that's just my opinion. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Cracking out.